Hey, Magic Garen lovers, Matt here from Total MTG, and today I've got another sweet, sweet unboxing all for you. And it's time to get crazy, unruly, with an unsanctioned unboxing. This is the new product from Magic the Gathering. Thanks to Magic Madhouse for sending this my way. This is a sponsored video by them. Sending me the products just to open for you. Just so we can have a little look inside and see whether you feel like you should buy this. Now, these are really, really, really fun sets to play. They're crazy cards, crazy combos, just all around, just absolutely hilarious fun. Uh, retailing on Magic Madhouse for around £38, £37.95 I think it is. So in America, probably around $50 to $60. But without further ado, let's just take a look what you're coming for. Let's take a little look at what's inside. So, what do you get inside the box where you get five 30-card mono-coloured decks to play with? You get two six-sided dice as well. Ten double-sided tokens. Really, really cool there. And this is what I'm really excited for. I know, I just love lands. So, you get five full art basic lands, all with new artwork. And you get five foil full art lands. I want more of those foils. I'm going to have to buy more for my collections without a doubt. And of course, you get a reusable box, which is always handy for storing cars and everything like that in. But obviously, you can just keep your game in there. But if you want to use it for something else, you can do that. Now, when you look at it, it says 10 ridiculously, ridiculously gorgeous foil lands. It does use some crazy banter here as well. Uh, the double-sided dice. Get ready for the fight. Welcome to the best unauthorized fight club in the multiverse. Bash Beaks. I'm going to bash Beaks with some silver boarded cards. This does have 16 new cards in, and the rules are unhinged. The stadium is unstable, and things are about to become unglued. So those of you that have been using unsets before, you know how fun these can be. But let's take it open now, and let's have a little look what's inside. So here we go. This is what we get inside. So these are obviously the decks. We get some lovely dice here. Let's have a little look at these dice. So they are just silver dice. Let's put them there. Um, yeah, pretty plain though. Nice sort of opaque colours on there, but I would have liked something on them. Maybe if they said crazy or un on them, but yeah, still two nice dice there. <gasps> we get some special lands. We get some special lands. Oh, we're going to be looking at them very soon. And then there's a little, before we get to the decks, let's take the decks out so I can get this big box out of the way. This is the reusable box. Obviously, if you want, you can take that out and then obviously use the box. That goes behind. There are the packs. But let's first of all, have a look at the little leaflet that you get in there. So here we go, Walk. welcome newcomer, if you show, I'll show you how things work around here, trust me, you don't want to ruffle too many feathers. So to find this ring you'll need a team, so you can basically team up the decks, this is what it's all about, uh, your opponent does the same, set the unused deck aside. So you get to pick two each, pick two colours, just at random if you want to do that, and then obviously just put lands in. Now on the back it does have the deck list which is really handy for all the decks, you've got the green, the red, the black, the white and the blue there. So you will be able to go through there and have a little look, but we're going to have a look at the actual cards, so we will not look at the deck list. First of all, let's get to what I'm most excited about. There is some tokens there, look at that, and there are some lovely, lovely lands. Right, let's have a look. Let's zoom the camera in a bit. Zoom the camera in, just wait for it to get in focus. There we go. So this is the four lands. Now what it has is this foil board around. It's supposed to be mimicking some older sets, like mixing some up, but I think they're rather nice. I think they're really cool. Now where's the most important one? There it is. There is the island. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. I need to get some more of them. There's a lovely swamp for you glistening in the light. For you red players, there is a lovely mountain. And the forest. I'm not too sure on the forest. It's okay. I don't think it's the best for me. I, I do prefer the other lands. But still, a very nice card. Now, obviously, then, you get some more other lands here. And then we get on to the tokens. And we have a B-ball. Look at that. That is a B-ball. Now, these are double-sided tokens. So there is some more B-ball, B-ball, B-balls. And then we get to a giant teddy bear. 
just looks absolutely vicious there. And then we turn them over and we get some more. We get an acorn stash there. We get some goblins. Goblins are good. Goblins are fun. And then we get a squirrel. Wow. I love squirrels. Squirrel tribal. That's for me. And then for you dragon fans, there is a lovely dragon token as well. And these, these are not foil. They would have been nice to be foil as well. But hey, they're still pretty nice. And then we have some decks. So we're going to go into the decks. We're going to go best color first. Of course, it's blue. We're going to open these up. And we're going to take a look at the legs. See, with some fun shenanigans there. So what would you do when you're playing is you pick two of these and then you would mix them together. So that is really fun. Let's zoom that in just a little tad more. So Alexander Clamington is the first one. This is one of your rares. Whenever you cast a wordy spell, scry two. These are going to have some really fun text to them. Uh, red and uh, one tap. Choose target creature you don't control. Reveal the top card of your library. And then Clamilton gets plus X plus naught. Turn to what X is the number of lines of rules of text revealed in that card. Now I told you this is going to be crazy, crazy shenanigans in this deck. Then there's Avatar of Me. So the spell costs one more to cast for each. Ten years you've been alive. So... Well, older players are going to absolutely love this. Find the oldest player you can. And, uh, that is absolutely hilarious. And then we get a Beeble's Bob Planeswalker. Mythic. Look at this. Three double blue. So as Bob of Bevy Beeble's ends the battle, create four 1-1 one, one Beeble creature tokens. That's where your tokens are going to come into play. Just look at the arts on that with the old Beeble's. Absolutely brilliant. Plus one up to X, target Beebles. Can't be blocked this turn where X is the number of cards in your hand. Minus one, draw a card. Chicken a la king. Oh, these are absolutely hilarious. Whenever a six is rolled on a six-sided die, put a one-one counter on each bird. Let's get that six. It was a five. No good there. Players of old rule remember Johnny Combo Player. 1-1 one, one for 4. Search your life for a card. Put that card in your hand and shuffle your library. What a broken, broken card that is. And then we get the PhD of Richard Garfield. Brilliant. Really, really, you know, thematic, old, historic card here. You may play cards as though they were other cards of your choice, but the same mana cost, you can choose the same card twice, though. Nice. Richard Garfield doing his work there. Water gun balloon game. You're going to get some really, really cracking art in this as well. There is a lovely death parrot. Cheaty face. Double blue 2-2 two, two is it's in your hand. You may sneak cheaty face onto the battlefield. If an opponent catches you right away, that player gets to exile it. So you've got to be underhanded. Say look out the window and then try and get that into play. We've got a common courtesy enchantment there. Magic word, chant creature, enter the battle, choose a word, whisper the chosen word, and tap the enchanted creature. Merman is in there. We got rings a bell, rock lobster, time out. What else we got? Well, this card is upside down. It's an upside down topsy turvy card. Look at that. Absolutely hilarious. What's that do? The faces of each player's turn are reverse as long as there are more than two players in the game. Reverse it. Wall of Fortune is there. Then we get a land underdome. Tap, add one man, can or any color. Spend this man only to pay silver bordered costs. Look at those lovely silver borders. And then you get your islands. So that is the blue pack. What would you mix it with? Would you mix it with the red? Would you go for those is it colors? Let's take a little look at what's inside here as well. Here we go. Going to look at the first card here. What do we get? We get Blast from the Past with absolutely epic art there. Madness 1, Cycling 2, Kicker 3, Flashback 4, Buyback 5. Blast from the Past deals 2 damage to any target. If that spell was kicked, get some goblins into play. Then we get the rare of Boomstacker in this deck. Ends the battlefield whenever it attacks. Stack 2 dice on top of it. It gets plus one for each die in the stack. Oh, God, that is absolutely brilliant. Infinity Elemental is what well, mythic there. This creature has infinite power. Infinite power. Look at that. It's four, triple. I'm just going to attack for a billion is what I'm going to do. Pointy Finger of Doom. Spin Pointy Finger of Doom in the middle of the table. 
so it rotates completely at least once, then destroy the closest permanent the finger points to. You can see, just from the first two decks here, you can buy these. You are going to have so much fun. I really do suggest, if you, you know, get them for your friends, just play them for 38 quid. Jesus, you're going to have some fun. I was just saying the other day that someone, you know, you go to a cinema these days, it costs like 30 quid for two people over in the UK. You're going to get hours out of fun in this. Now, obviously, you're going to see a very good film, but you are going to get to play for the, you know, a little bit more money. Crazy, crazy, crazy magic. Say Goblin SWAT team. Put a plus one one counter on Goblin SWAT team unless opponent swats the table within five seconds. Goblin SWAT. Then we have a Goblin Tutor for our one mana instant. Roll a six-sided die. If you roll a one, Goblin Tutor has no effect whatsoever. But look at the effects below. That is again an enchantment, an artifact, a creature instant, or oh, sorcery. Others thumb. We get Scissors Lizard. I like the silver bordered artifacts. I must admit, I really do like that. Then we have a Sixy Beast. Uh, zero, zero for four. Ends the battle. Secretly put six or fewer one one counters. Then the opponent guesses the number of counters. If they guess right, you have to sacrifice it. Super. We get Under Dome. And then we get lots of mountains ready to mix up. You could shuffle them up with this. Shuffle them all up, and then you'd have your deck. This would be your is it deck. You'd have to do a better one than that, but this could be your deck ready to play if you mix those two. Next color. Let's go on to the swampy, swampy blacks. Here we go. What are we going to get in here? That is fun shenanigans. Get in focus. There we go. We start off with our Cornelia Fashionable Fletcher 3 3. Whenever you cast a spell with a squirrel in its heart, you get. An acorn counter. Now I love squirrels. I could be favourable to be pushing maybe a bit of, bit of the colours of this. Uh, whenever a squirrel you control ends the battle or dies, you get a acorn counter. So this is all about acorns. And this is all about enter the dungeon. Players play a magic sub game under the table, starting at five life, using their libraries as their decks. The winner searches the library for two cards, puts those cards into hand and shovel the library. Double black mana, let's play a game under the table. Hilarious. Infernal spawn of evil. Look at that. It was a demon, but no, we're scrapping it to make it a beast. But it doesn't look very beastly to me. It looks a bit like a squirrel um, holding a cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows, maybe. But it does have flying and first strike, and it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Here is some more. Infernal spawn of evil. Look at that. It just looks so evil, doesn't it? Not... And we get an Infernia Spawnington. So this is Spawnington's Jack in the Mox Zero. <laughs> Jack in the Mox. Roll a six-sided die. The ability has indicated effect. Sacrifice the Mox and lose five life. Two. Add lots of different colours. Really, really fun card. I wonder if I could sneak that in an EDH deck. And my friends would not notice. So here is a half card. Half card. Look at that. At the beginning of the We need to put that together with something else. Booster Tutor. Open a sealed magic booster pack. Reveal the cards and put one of them into your hand. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, Booster Tutor would cost me an absolute fortune. Let me get Dirty Rat. What else we got? We got Duh. Look at this on the side there. That is hilarious. Look at that. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Duh, duh, duh. Come on, get in focus. There we go. It's nearly there. It's nearly there. It's better if it goes there. Right, on to the next one. Hoisted Hurling. There we go. In Huniac, Jumbo Imp. Love the art on Jumbo Imp there. That is really, really cool. Poultry guys, not poultry guys. We're going to have poultry guys. We're going to have a chicken on there. Bird Spirit, Skull Sorcerer, Snicker and Scruton. Now, see, they look, they look a little bit more evil to me. The 1-1, one, one, you may tap Snicker and Scruton to increase the result of a die of any player that rolled 1. We've got a Scorpion. Then we have our Underdome. And then we get into our swamps. So what's good about this is that you get the lands as well to mix in ready for the decks, which is really cool. Like, you know, it's ready to play straight out of the box. And then we get the Hound, B-I-N-G-O. No, I'm not going to sing that. You sing it. You sing it for me. B-I-N-G-O, really cool card. Nice art as well. Look at that there with the numbers going around and everything like that. This Hound, whatever player cast spell, put a chip counter on it. B-I-N-G-O gets plus 99 for each set of three numbers in a row. 
plus nine nine. That is going to be a beta. Old foggy, lovely old art there. Look at that. Seven seven just for the two mana. But as phasing, community to have to keep one. There's Echo, Fading three, bands with other dinosaurs, protection from homeroids, snow covered plains, walk flanking and rampage two. Well, that's not bad for two mana, is it? Then we have Pippa, Duchess of Dice, a human noble. Squirrel Farm is in there. I love my squirrels. I'll be playing some green without a doubt. Then we have the Surgeon General Commander. Whenever an augment, enchant, or mutate a creature you control, draw a card, and then you get to add all that. Look at that. It's insane. Now, Timmy, Power Gamer. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. I remember when I first got into Magic and I saw this, and I didn't know that you couldn't play these sort of cards in Commander. I played this as my Commander and basically got laughed at at the table. It is a broken, broken card. Now, this is an interesting one. It still has four cards on there sideways upwards. Destroy target enchantment, destroy target land. It also has counter target creature spell. And it also has as well target player gains X life and destroy target artifact. Wow, that's a crazy, crazy card. Bronze calendar, elvish impersonators. Any more fun ones here? Free range chicken. Free range chicken. Hilarious. Growth spurt. Lovely, lovely. I love the art on these. I know I keep saying it, but it's, it's brilliant. Roll a six sided die. Target creature gets plus X, plus X until end of turn where X is the result. Then we get half a squirrel. We get a mother kangaroo. We've seen cars like these ones before in recent sets. Slaying Mantis is there. Spirit of the Season, uncommon 3 3. Ends of battle gain taste. It's summer. If it's summer. So play this in the summer. It's going to be a better card. Wild Crocodile. Let me get Underdome. And then we get all of our forests. So we're down to the final, final pack here to see some amazing art. Which colours would you put together so far? Out of the ones you've seen, you've got one more to see now. Here we go, on to white. So get in focus. We have Flavor Judge. Looks like a big rooster or chicken bird there. Choose a target spell or ability. That target's a permanent control, then ask a person outside the game if the story of what will happen makes sense. If they say no, sacrifice it and counter that spell or ability. Absolutely hilarious. Frankie Peanuts is our next one. It's an elephant rogue. All elephants are rogues. Uh, beginning of your upkeep, you may ask target player yes or no question. If you do, the player answers the question truthfully and abides by the answer, if able, until end of turn. Then we have one of these cards. Look at me, I am R and D. Yes, yes, you are. Look at me, I'm the DCI. So you're getting some really, really silly cards in this one. Banner card, other than basic land card for the rest of the match. Wow, that is real shenanigans there. Stay in power until end of turn. And this turn, effects, they just do not end. They just carry on for the rest of the game. Swords of Dungeons and Dragons. See that really thematic d, &D stuff here. Creatures get plus two, two. Protection from rogues and from clerics. Deals combat damage for player. Create a 4-4 gold dragon token with flying and roll a d20. If you roll a 20, repeat that process. So get that lucky rolling going. And that mythic will do some serious, serious work for you. Night Owl is our next rare. And then we have a reprint of the adorable kitten. AWOL. Exile target attacking creature, then remove it from the game. Then put it in absolutely removed from the freaking game forever zone. Have you seen me on the carton of milk just sitting there? Then we have MC. Go to jail. Ends the battle. Exile target creature and opponent controls until this leaves the battlefield. Beginner up the cards owner. That player rolls a six side does. If they roll doubles, sacrifice the jail and then they get it back. What else? Knight of Hokey Pokey. We have an old card there. Tack target creature without reminder text. Very interesting. Let me just have an ordinary pony. Paper Tiger is our next card. Creatures named Rocked Lobster can't attack or block. Get that Paper Tiger going. We have a strutting turkey. And then we get to the lands. The final part of this deck. The Underdome. And then the Plains. So all in all, this is a very, very fun, fun game. This is going to be unsanctioned. Let's just...
I hope it's just me. That wasn't my camera. Put that back out. Unsanctioned, yes, it's going to be a very, very fun game. You're going to put this together. You're going to have hours and hours of fun with it. For, you know, let's be honest here. For me personally, I'm not just saying this because they sent me to the review, but for 38 quid, you're getting a lot. You're getting some lovely lands, great art, hilarious cards, and you're just going to have real good fun with your friends. You know, mix up the colours, keep playing loads of games. Be good to on a Friday night. If you can't get it to FM, you can play this with your mates. I think it's a really, really good product, personally. And I reckon a lot of you are going to buy it. So if you want to buy it from Magic Madness, make sure you go and check it out. If you're in the UK or Europe, there will be links below. Um, I just want to say thanks again for sending this product. I've really enjoyed unboxing this, and I hope you all have too. Please give it a big thumbs up. You're going to be getting lots more product opening, hopefully in the future on the channel. So watch out for them. Might be another one next week, a bit of a booster opening. So make sure you're here. Hit the subscribe button. You lot take care, and I will see you on the next video.